Hey guys, welcome back to another stream. I hope everyone is doing all right. I hope the notification goes out as well because you never know with these bots. I hope you all had a lovely day. Let's just wait a little bit before we jump into the game. And I don't know if you remember, but we left off last week where we left the university. So now there's a whole new area waiting for us, which is a very creepy area. And uh, this is my least favorite one. It's like very, very, very creepy. But I'm excited. I think today we are going to finish the game. So it's always good. Always exciting. Let me just try this a little bit here. Oh, much better. I just got home. I am very tired. Mm. I have a little bit of a headache. And the bot is not working. So... Let's just do this. not logged in into Twitch. I mean into Discord. On this PC. So yeah, there's that. Also Twitch's notification system is super unreliable so I'm not counting on <laughs> that actually informing people about the stream. Oh, it didn't save that we left with the train? What the heck? Yeah, okay, autosave is a bit, bit buggy. But let's see, I think... Uh, yeah, we, we only need the ticket. Eh? Oscar? Here you go, Oscar. A little recap, at least. Now, please return to your seat, <laughs> Kate Walker. Yes, Oscar. Immediately, Oscar. Okay. At least we don't have to do all the things for him again. Jarvis, welcome and thank you so much for the 16 months sub. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> thank you so much. How are you? Oh, I always get thrown off be from these black lines at the cutscenes. Because I keep thinking that uh, my OBS is set up wrong. Oh, I just woke up. <laughs> Beauty of the night shift. Okay, so here we are. This is the area I talked about. It's very creepy and I don't like it at all. But here we go. I wonder how much is left of the game. Where is Oscar? Yeah, this is not the... Yeah, or is it? Yeah. Oh, of course Oscar is driving the train. <laughs> What's going on? Why is the train stopped? Where are we? The springs of the train are unwound again, Kate Walker. As for the question pertaining to our geographical location, 
I really haven't the slightest idea. Well, we better get looking for a winding machine, my dear Oscar. I hope that this place actually has one. The air here is so polluted that I could not possibly <laughs> risk leaving the locomotive. My joints might corrode irreparably. Sure. Let's see. Oh, hey, Abed. Thank you so much for the 10 months. <laughs> see you soon, Oscar. I shall stay right here, Kate Walker. Okay. Ah, Oscar. Um... So, I think I need to go up to that uh, huge statue thing first. Actually, the more we go into the game, the less I'm sure of what I actually need to do. <laughs> because I played the first part so, so much that I know it by heart already. But the rest sometimes confuses me. Okay. And the controls. Yay, little Palpa cheers in the chat. <laughs> um, yes. Here we go. I should listen to this voice cylinder. It could give me some interesting information. Yup. Um, what is that? Ah, oh, so it locks the things. And, uh, ah, oh, okay, so, okay, um, I can put the handle here. It doesn't work. But I think I need a key. Um, 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 um. Oh, no, I don't need a key, actually. Cool. Or do I? Wait, I have to check, because I think now it comes one closer. And now we have to go out, I think. Because... Hum. Yep. Jump! Okay, I think even I could make the jump, but maybe not. That's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Okay, so ah, okay, shit. Hey, free, welcome. I'm doing good, thank you. I just got home, so that's why stream is a bit late. How are you? How was your day? Okay, so if I put it here, can I wind the train up already? I don't think so, because otherwise there wouldn't be a point of going into the mine. But let's see. I can't go that way. Ah, oh, shit! I have to go back. No. Hmm. Yeah, that would have. Wait, do can I even further? No. Then why I can't go down? See, I'm I'm confused. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm a bit tired, but finally the weather is cooler here in Hungary, and it's only like twelve degrees outside, which is super good compared to the super hot weather of the past weeks. I'm also excited to continue the game and hopefully finish it today because I wanted to do like a two-part series but we will see how long does it take for me to finish okay so oh yeah because there's no leather there okay okay so hmm. Is it the other one that needs to wind up the train? I don't think so. Man, I hate this area so much. That door is locked. Okay, makes sense. I've gotta find another way around. Makes sense. So now I think we go into the mine shaft. Hey Oscar, go inside. You will get rusty. Okay, so explosives. I think this is. Yeah. Oh, looks good. 
Yeah, I had a long day and I uh, had a meeting with my um, co-workers. So that's why stream started later because I got home a bit late. But it was fun. But the way there was super long. Oh yeah, the, this game is so nostalgic, Hello? I love it. Hello? Dave, it's Dan. Can you hear me? No. D Dan, is that you? I can't hear you <laughs> so good. Dan? Hey, can you talk? It's about the last conversation. I, are you still mad at me? Come on, this is, it's important. Dan, you're breaking up. I'll try and call you when I get out of this mine. <laughs> you're Hey, come on, what's happening? Listen, we've got to talk. Look, the line's just getting worse and worse. I'm hanging up. Bye. Oh, man. Mm. The fuck? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Oh my god, why am I so bad? I can't go that way because it's so dark. But then where is the... Oh my god. You see, I dislike this area so much that I totally forgot what the hell do I need to do. Shit, 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 shit. Oh yeah, I have to listen to the voice cylinder, let's see. It does sound like a decent idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, thanks for the lurk, Jarvis, and uh, have a nice evening. Actually, you should move the chat closer to the game because. Uh, okay, let's see. My dear brother, what joy to have news of you after your long silence during the war years. So, you're working for the Russians now. I tell you, we've been hearing some worrying stories about them here. Just your description of that dingy factory makes me cough. But it's so good to hear that your talent is being recognized for its true value, and that your automaton creations are taking the place of workers for all those menial jobs. I'm so proud that Vorlberg automatons are making such a contribution, even if it is small, to the improvement of people's lives. Meanwhile, back in Baladolin, we've been licking our wounds after the war years. Some people have returned, others not. Life is slowly coming back, but it's taking time. All my love, Anna. It's it's uh, said that there's no subtitles during the cutscenes. Okay, that's all actually. Good. Oh yeah, uh, we have the design. Can I check it? Mm, read. X. Oh yeah. Did I miss something at the legs? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should check the other one? Hmm. No, I can't go further here. I think the wire cutter should be around here somewhere. Hmm. I kind of forgot how this goes, but... Let's just ask her. Yeah, yeah. So this is a door that is locked, so I have nothing to do here. I feel like I'm missing something here. Or should the wire cutter be in the mine? I can't remember. Okay, let's see. Again. <laughs> also, I love how Kid said, uh, I'll call you back when I'm out of the mine, but she never calls back, literally. Who needs then? Oh. I sure as hell don't. Okay. Um, wire cutter. Oh, 
I think it should be around here somewhere, shouldn't it? Um, hello? Oh, this thing's jammed. Hello? Yeah, I know I have to find the spark plug and I know where it is, but I need a wire cutter to get in there. Shit, where is it? I feel like I'm done. Maybe it was in the giant robot thing and I missed it? I don't know. Yeah, it must it must have been there. Come on. <sighs> Good old puzzles. This is why I couldn't finish this game as a kid without walkthroughs. Okay, let's go back. There's nothing here. Can I go even? No. I I do feel like I'm missing something. Maybe I should have checked the lag. I don't know. Let's go. So now I can jump here. Which is cool. I don't have anything. No. Okay, I'm gonna check the leg. Can I? I can't even check the leg. What am I missing? If I put it over the train, I can climb down. I can't go that way. Oh, Epicina, thank you so much for the tier one sub. And the nine months. <laughs> That's a baby. Epicina, we have a baby. <laughs> but uh, have a nice dinner. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain why there is a huge robot um, communist man here. But I actually really like the... Vibe. I wish Naiba was here to see this. He would love this. <laughs> okay, so... Dang. Yeah, the... Like, the art style of this game is super cool. I love it so much. It's very steampunk-ish. But kind of not at the same time. I don't know. Oh my god. What am I missing? Yeah, definitely a little bit creepy this area, but there are beautiful areas as well. We just already left them. <laughs> ah, man. Oh, wait. Uh, can I look at your leg, please? It's, this is not even the one that winds up the train. I think the other one is the one that winds up the train. But I can't even go that way. Or can I? I don't know. But there's no leather. Shit. <laughs> there's nothing here that I could use. Nothing. Okay, let's talk to Oscar. Oscar, what's going on? Why is... The springs of the train are unwound again, Kate Walker. Of course. As for the question pertaining to our geographical location, I really haven't the slightest idea. Well, 
We'd better get looking for a winding machine, my dear Oscar. I hope that this place actually has one. The air here is so blue. Yeah. Right. So... What? Train? We just keep stopping. When will we... Simply wind up the spring and we can set off immediately. From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> um... Mission? Gosh, it's really gloomy here. I wonder where on earth I'm going to find a winding machine. I have total confidence in you, Kate Walker. Not you halfway. Are, after all, a brave and resourceful woman. Aww. Yeah, right. My See you sweetie. Soon, I shall stay right here, Kate Walker. Okay, so I think I'm definitely missing something because she needs to see the winding machine. I don't know. I've been there already. Nothing there. <laughs> yeah, Oscar is uh, an automaton as well. Yeah, I wish I could click everything. Okay. Um, man. Hello? I miss the Russian, Dutch, German, French ship people. Ah, shit. I, I definitely need the stupid wire cutter, but I don't know where it is. Ah. Yeah, um... The ladder makes us uh, climb up to the giant robot person. Man, like, there's nothing in here. I know, I know I have to use this to wind up the train. I think. So now we are here again. <laughs> it's gonna take a while if I'm not figuring out what the hell do I need to do. So. Here's this hole. That's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Yeah, I'm gonna need the wire cutter to go in here and get the plug. No, it says uh, find the spark plug. Find the way to wind the train. Oh, that's actually right. That actually rhymes. <sighs> Am I a buffoon? What's going on here? <laughs> I'm playing this on the Switch so I can't even click and everything. That, that would be much easier. Because uh, in the PC version if you hover over something that you can use the cursor changes but here I can't even see the cursor. <laughs> Okay, let's try this way. Help. 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 No, nothing. Should I try to... But I cannot 
go onto the other side of the train. That's not a thing I can do. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna try going to the mine again. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe I'm just missing something, to be honest. Playing this on Switch doesn't make it easier. At least for now. But let's try to go to the other side. No. Nothing there. Okay. Man, I didn't think I could get stuck in a game that I played through like 15 times already. But there we go. Okay. Um, maybe the spark plug is on the floor and I'm just blind? Wait, actually I want to try something. If I... can I... I don't need to do that again. No. Okay. Reasonable. So... I'm blind. Help me. That looks like a ventilation duct. Um... yes. Thank you. Help. I don't see anything here. But that's where it needs to go. Oh, this thing's... It's too dark to continue. I might lose my way. I'm gonna lose my mind very soon. I don't need to do that. What? I don't need to do that again. Hi Ahmed, I'm doing good. I'm kind of stuck in this game. I'm gonna Google that, yeah, definitely. Uh, damn, I'm pretty sure that I don't know. Siberia. Bridge. What is this place? Um, um. Oh my god, I wish I would know how to. Ugh! What's the name of this place? <laughs> Thank you, Apercina. <laughs> yeah, uh, so unfortunately, the hole is too fo small for you to climb through. Go back to the automaton and again push the handle forward to move the automaton. This time it stops next to the train. Okay, so I actually can wind up. I'm just uh, lame. Okay. Oh man! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just have to wind up the train for a scripted event to happen. Man, I'm sorry guys. I guess this is the downside of playing a game that you already played through because you know something that you have to do but you mess up the order of the things. Yes! <laughs> you were right, Free. Oh man. I thought this, that's a... Uh, the thing is that I thought the red thing is a key hole. 
but it's actually just a button. So I bamboozled myself. It's all right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I had a long day. Yeah, that, that's it. Man, I am dumb. <laughs> yeah. But Thursday is almost Friday. And here we go. <laughs> I can't believe I wasted so much time on this. <laughs> this should have took me like two minutes, but here we go. <gasps> hey, you there. <laughs> so creepy. He's not hurrying uh, either. Okay, so ask her. Ask her. He's not here. <laughs> You're right. He looked like he was like very, very cold. Hey, where the heck is Oscar? My god, oh. Oscar? Oscar, talk to me! <laughs> My poor boy! He's taken hostage. Oh, okay, no cutscene. I get it. Poor Oscar. Are you okay? Why, it is absolutely inadmissible, intolerable, and... and... Indescribable! I... I have been attacked! What do you mean you've been attacked? Poor boy. My hands! I no longer have them! They have been stolen! My god, you haven't got <gasps> your hands! Daddy. But who did this? What's going on here? <laughs> Kate, are you, you blind? Of one thing, Kate Walker. That this heinous crime was committed by a barbarian. A dysfunctional individual whose behavior lacks all finesse. That's true. Did you get a look at your attacker? Tell me exactly how it happened. Kate, I was you're standing so here him. polishing up my metalwork. I was just thinking that with all the dust in the air, it would be a good idea to. Oscar! I was very busy, and I suddenly felt two powerful arms grab me from behind and tie me up before I had the chance to defend myself. I wanted to call out, but my attacker gagged me before I could emit the slightest sound. Then he dismantled my hands with a terrifying pair of pliers. It was horrible! Oh, this is how we get the pliers. Oh my god. Him? He was a real barbarian, I tell you. He had bloodshot eyes, steel teeth, and brown scaly skin. And he emitted foul odors. He was a monster, Kate Walker. A real monster. And he had a weapon. Oscar, please calm down. Are you sure, going but to be that you are right. not slightly over-exaggerating this? Right, I'm done. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker, and don't forget me. I, I could never. Hi, Teddy, welcome, how are you? Wait, where the heck am I? Okay. Ah, oh, that's where the wire cutter is, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I am such a fool. There we go. <laughs> Poor Oscar. There we go. Oh. 
also, although I don't uh, know why he was restricted by his mouth being, you know, and his hands, I mean, he could just pull his arms out of the rope because he didn't have any hands. But anyway, I'm alright, thank you. A bit tired and uh, I had a terrible headache before stream, but now it's better, actually. Because you guys are all here. <laughs> Be poop dial up sound, yes. Oh, my sweet Oscar. I love him. Okay, there we go. Man, see? This could have took like five minutes and uh, here we are for 35 minutes. That's my problem. Suddenly the hole is gone, and she has to cut a whole new one. Nice! She is indeed a brave and resourceful woman. Okay, there we go. For fuck's sake. Um, where am I? Hey, a plug! Who would have thought? <laughs> uh, this is nothing. Uh, factory? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Bye! I'm out of here. Saving my precious Oscar. Although, I do think that there is gonna be a puzzle that I still have to look up later on in the game because I can't remember, for the love of God, how to make that. <laughs> or maybe actually we get the thing. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. If it takes more than 10 minutes, I'm gonna look here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go! Poor Asker. Mm. <laughs> yeah, let's say that it's it's only because it's on the switch. <laughs> It's actually a bit weird uh, that it's not point and click anymore. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's go into an abandoned mine shaft. So why not? Uh, foreshadowing. Okay, where am I? Wait, what is it? Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. That door is locked. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I cannot go in there. Okay, makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. I think. Mm. Hello? The most annoying thing about this being on Switch is that I can't see where the next area is, where I need to run. Because I can see on the edge where... Ah, uh, yeah, where it leads to the next area. Okay. Cool! We are here. Oh! The hands! These are... our hands. Oscar's hands. Why are you not addressing that these are Oscar's hands? 
Excuse me? You could have just uh, screwed them down, I guess. I don't know how this works, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Let's go. That was easy. Uh, hello? Anybody home? You creeper? Hey, you. Who are you? Careful, I'm warning you. I'm not afraid of you, okay? What do you okay, want? Okay, he does look like a monster. Why did you do that? There must be some misunderstanding. Because you reckon theft is all about misunderstanding, do you? Give me my hands back. Now. Your hands? And what are those <laughs> on the ends of your arms? I can explain everything to you. You see, I'm no thief. You broke into my train, assaulted my driver, mutilated him, and stole his hands. <laughs> Apart from that, you are not a thief. I have not stolen them, miss. Only borrowed them for a while. Yeah. You've got to be joking. I'm not joking with you, miss. I would never take such liberties. Oh, he's they such a creep. They belong to Oscar, my automaton engineer. Why did you steal them? They are extraordinary. Real mechanical wonders. I would never have been capable of designing such hands myself. Never. Such workmanship. <laughs> yes. Such precision crafting. It is... It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And just because you like them, you decided to steal them? And I wish I, I could only be like a... I them, little missy. Temporarily, you understand? Of course, I shall return them to you when I don't need them anymore. You can... Excuse me? You see, these hands are all I need That's to complete creepy. my plan. At last, I can finish off my automaton pianist and fulfill my dreams. Everything is now in place. You see, I have converted this old, useless, stupid factory into a magical theater. As you can see, the furnaces, piping, chimney stacks, They've all been converted into one gigantic organ. What happened to his voice? I will be able to accompany the world's greatest living singer. Now all I need is her. <gasps> oh my god. I'm sorry, I can't make heads or tails out of your story at all. Without my engineer's hands, I'm stuck here, you see? Everything I have designed, all that I have invented, Everything is for her. Do you realize her? Oh, to hear her sing one more time here in my factory. But who is she? Who are you talking about? Helena. The one and only Helena Romansky. Her voice is so pure, like an angel. One day she came here. To Komkolsgrad. She sang here, you know, when our industrial city was in its heyday. Oh, so long ago now. It was almost unreal. It was magical. I remember it like it was yesterday. Then, later, a long time later, she saved my soul. She saved my life and gave it meaning. When I was told that the mining program was to be abandoned, that this industrial city was consigned to oblivion, that I, its director, would from then on be nothing but a guardian of these rusting remains of a bygone so age. Poetic. That is when I first formed my plan to bring Helena Romansky back to this factory. But this time, she would sing for me, and me alone. And is she okay about this? Sure, sure. Once she finds out that oh, I have done dude. all this for her, when she realizes how I converted this vast network of pipes and tubes to create one of the most impressive organs ever made, then you know, this was no small achievement, miss. Once, 
molten iron flowed through here. Now there wafts only beautiful melodies. So poetic. But then I realized I had to make an automaton pianist. I began to despair that I would never create hands that were intricate enough. But then you arrived. So lucky, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Very, very that lucky. That must have been a happy coincidence for someone around here. <laughs> so, when will this Madame Romansky come back? When do I get my hands back? I don't yeah, this know. dude has been here way Maybe too long. Maybe someone should look for her. Tell her. Hey, why don't you go? The quicker you bring her back, the sooner you can carry on your business trip. Now, isn't that a good idea? No. And you promise <laughs> that once Helena has sung, you will give me back my automaton's hands? I promise, my dear. You have my solemn word. Well, Lies. I guess I'm going to have to believe Deception. You. Where should I go hunting for this singer then? I have no idea. But for a woman of the world like yourself, finding her should pose no obstacle. Helena Romansky was a world celebrity, you know. I have collected many objects, souvenirs of her that I keep in a room. A shrine to her glory. Creepy. It's like her own personal museum in a way you should take a look creepy creepy i hate you <laughs> yeah he definitely is weirdo this whole story is completely nuts please excuse me so be Bye. Um. Seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else. Monorail, huh? Oh. Okay. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be so lucky. Okay, here we are. She had nice glittery dresses. That's cool. This is this room is not creepy at all with the mannequins. Ah, oh, so many glittery dresses. Love it. Uh, I love this woman. Okay, this room is not creepy at all. Young Helena Romanski's crystal clear voice moved amateurs and professionals alike gathered for the ninth Boador Festival in Brussels. Uh, young Russian soprano was the revelation of the event. Helen Romansky's finest numbers are collected here on this golden disc. The voice, Helena Romansky. Comrade Helena Romansky sings for the people. Her series of recitals with piano performed... There's a typo in the article. Performed in the factories of our great republic after Kiev. Diva arrives at the Konkurs Guard. Grad. Um, Comrade Borodin. So that's the guy we talked about. Success in Europe. Um, peak of her artistic career. And uh, sang with her great friend, the Russian tenor Frank Malkovich. Oh, Frank Malkovich is the friend of our mom. Like Kate's mom is dating Frank. Okay. Not known at this address. Creepy! Oh, I'm getting the, like, creeps. Hey, BMI! Thank you so much for the 100 cheers and welcome, welcome back. Ah, oh, what a time to be alive. Okay, so 1997. Okay, so he kept sending letters to Helena about his progress. Um, excuse me, how should I know that where she is? Uh, blah blah blah. Up, oh, oh. um. So, yeah, yeah. Yesterday evening, the Doring crowd, Bolko, Helena Romanski. Uh, fearful. Thank you. That's it. That that was the last page. Oh my mom. 
Okay. <laughs> because uh, Frank is her friend. Mom? How can I call my mom? How can I call my mom? Mom? Where is my phone? Ah, here we go. Mother. Call mom. Hi, mom. Kate! The roaming what? crisis, man. Have you seen the time? Why are you phoning me in the middle of the night? Oh, sorry, mom. I forgot about the time zones. Did I wake you? Um, well, of course you woke me up. I, I was sleeping deeply, too. I simply got to get my beauty sleep. I've got an absolutely crazy day Moms. tomorrow. I'm sorry. It's just that it's real important and urgent. I haven't got a lot of time. Well, if it really can't wait till tomorrow, Munchkin, come on, tell your mommy what's up. Uh, no way I'm calling <laughs> Dan for you, if that's what you want. Mom, listen, please. I seem Who to remember you're ben? seeing a Marovich or something like that at the moment. No, 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 no. Malkovich, Munchkin. Frank Malkovich. Yeah, right. So, but he's an opera singer, right? That's right. They say he had the finest voice of his time. Hey, dear, Cookie Monster. That's just I'm doing great. good, thank you. So then he must have known a How famous singer called Helena Romansky. She's Russian, too. Please, if you can ask him if... Listen, honey, if it's stars you're after, Frank knows them all. I'll just wake him up and let him tell you himself. You mean he's... Okay. They are sleeping Listen, together? Frank tells me he's staying he over? Out with the Romansky once, but it was platonic. You know those singers. She's a great soprano. Great. Does he know where she went? Does, does she still sing? Where does she live? One second, Munchkin. Do you know? Oh, oh. Frank says she was very ill and she withdrew from circulation. Really? Oh. No, Frank is just a new boyfriend of uh, um, Kate's mom. She went to rest in some spa somewhere. He thinks it was called Arrowbad, but it was 15 years ago and he's not sure. And well, honey, when Frank wakes up, he always takes a little bit of time to get going, you know. Thanks a bundle, Mom. And Frank, too. You're both fantastic. Love you both. <laughs> Thanks again. Catch you later. <laughs> You're both fantastic. Love you both. <laughs> Okay, so we know where she is. I don't think I could have figured that out by myself, to be honest, that we need to call our mom. So actually, for once, the objectives were very useful. Um, yeah, it was gloomy here all day as well, but I really enjoyed it. Actually, uh, got caught up in the rain a little bit, but it was fun. At least finally it wasn't uh, 30 or 35 degrees, so it was good. Hello? Did I wake you up? Dan, shut the fuck up. up! I don't care! This business just keeps turning round and round in my head. What business, Dan? But Kate, that argument we had, have you forgotten? I really need to talk about that again. Get off! Oh, you know, I, I guess we were both a little high-strung, that's all. But don't sweat it, okay? Yeah, sure. Getting carried away never solves anything, does it? I must say I felt really dumb when I hung up. Really? As you should. Yeah, I left the door to my office open and I was convinced everybody around heard me. Oh. I'm so embarrassed, Dan. Please say I'm sorry to your colleagues from me. It doesn't matter, honey. Promise me that you will never put me in that state again. Oh my it god! so delightful. I have the impression that this journey is putting more than distance between us. Well, it's true. I'm living a whole load of new and amazing experiences. Okay, I see. And I still know Hans Warlberg? No. Keep me posted. You know how important you are to me. Hurry home, huh? I'll try. Big hug, Dan. No, fuck you, Dan. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Man, I hate him. Director. Ah, it is you, Miss Walker. Director, I think I know where Helena Romansky is. My god. You have found Helena? That is fantastic. From my research, Helena Romansky is living in Arlbad. Arlbad? Helena Romansky is in Arlbad. You know the town then? You know where it is? Of course. 
It was a famous spa resort. In its heyday, Arlbad welcomed all the big wigs of the regime. To be granted a stay there was a real honor. Today, the honor has gone, <laughs> along with all the generals and colonels, all washed away with the sea. It sounds like a good place if you need to take it easy or convalesce. I think Madame Romansky would be happier here. I kind of doubt. She'll prefer the peace and quiet here. The perfect tranquility of our. I do think it's not a wise idea to share her location with this creep. How can I get to Arrowbad? There is one way that you can. Here in the city, there are no suitable vehicles left. But that drunk old fool living up there, he'll have something. What drunken old fool? <laughs> you mean you're not alone? What's up there? You mean you haven't noticed the space compound on the plateau? There's still no? some pathetic old soldier guarding it. So yeah, then he's, he's typical Egomania. He's in the reaching Agreed. for another bottle than the reaching for the stars. And you think this At gentleman least could he's have a not vehicle a creep. for me? I haven't the slightest idea. If you catch him on a good day, then maybe. But good days for him are far and few between. I wish you luck. How do I get up to the space compound then? There is a monorail that leads up to the Cosmodrome. When you are inside, I okay. will activate the automatic pilot. Okay, okay, okay. Automatic pilot. Cool. cool okay, cool, 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 I'm cool. going. Wish me luck. Uh, also, am... let me know, guys, if the traffic is too loud in my mic because I have the window open. Okay. What the heck? Ah, okay. Who is it? Can you just leave me alone? I don't care. Hello? Kate! Oh, that you? How are you? Olivia! Great, just the right person. Look, have you heard of Helena Romansky? Uh, no. Is she some Russian fashion designer? How would she oh, heard of her? She's a singer. I'm going to be meeting her soon. I've just got to find a way of reaching Arlbad. Can you imagine how lucky I am? Not really. Well, what relations this singer got with the toy co case? You sure you know what you're up to, Kate? Uh, you sound really different, like you're changing or something. Look, it's like this. If I'm going to get to the end of my journey, I've got to link up this singer and the director of the Comkalsgrad Industrial City. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Why did you say that I've changed? Because she's a oh, bitch! No, just an impression. <laughs> you sound more sure of yourself, like stronger, more confident. Yeah. And that's a problem? There you go. Just takes one word and you're up on your high horse. I'm beginning to see Dan's point of view. It's getting harder and harder to back you up all the time. What does that mean? Well, it means that I had a drink or two with Dan because he wants to talk. He feels a bit lonely, you see? And what's he been telling you? Nothing. He just has the impression you're slipping away from him. He can't see where you're coming from anymore. Like, we went to the movies the other day and he said that you would have loved the film, but I told him that... You mean you're dating my fiancé? No! No, not dating, Kate. Just propping him up while you're away. Mm -hmm. Only a good cause. I can keep an eye on him for you at the same time. Mm -hmm. What would I do without you? Oh, you're jealous. Huh. Well, that's a good sign. That means you want him. Now that he'll be pleased to hear. You seeing each other again soon? Tomorrow night. He invited me to dinner at the Goldberg. You don't mind, do you, Kate? No, no, no worries. Look, I've got to go, Olivia. Take care. I love how she just doesn't care. Like, who the fuck wants that? Who? I don't care. You can go with him. I don't mind. Also, I love the high waist uh, jeans of Kate. And yes, I also like the Tomb Raider games as well. Take that whiny egomaniac as out of my sign. Thank you, Olivia. You are doing me a favor. And while you are at it, just take yourself out with the trash as well. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hello. Excuse me. 
Sir, sorry to disturb you, but you who? Can you hear me? <laughs> Three, two, one, contact, and we have lift off. Oh, holy mother! <laughs> a dame, a, a great dame <laughs> on the launch pad. Uh, please, no need to worry, sir. Just do stay calm. I, I just want some information. Watch what you're doing, sweetheart. We ain't got no information, no strategies, no plans to tell anyone anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Military regulations, you dig it, babe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, can you try and get a grip? I must absolutely find a way out of this industrial complex. Jeez, me too. <laughs> I've really got to get out of this dump, but not before I've had a little drink. Here, get your pretty little lips around this. Vodka! Tell me what you think. Do you have a vehicle to lend me? I think I'd even test one of your rockets right now if I had to. Toast my rockets? Hey, pretty <gasps> dame, I'll drink to that. Now, just a minute, we got to need a special bottle for this special occasion. Something to blow you away. What Three, a burp. two, one, contact, and we have liftoff. Okay, that's enough. What was that? Uh, did you say something? Are our female comrades revolting or what? <laughs> uh oh, trouble on its way. <laughs> Bottoms up. Power to the babushkas. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I was going to... Power to the babushkas. Drunk. I have drunk. A little. This <laughs> is gonna be my new status on Discord. I love it. <gasps> oh, okay. Let's pick up the vodka. It's always good. Little vodka. Strange. Sure, I left a bottle or two around here. I gotta get some air. <laughs> Walls getting pretty tight. We'll think about that blast off later, huh? Are you okay, <laughs> Colonel? Are you sure you're all right? No, I don't think so. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, FSC. Now, power to the babushkas. Be careful. Don't lean out too far or you'll... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a trash. Okay. Let's do this. Um, hello? Hello? Uh, hey? I think I need to go back first. Oh my god, this uh, hawk sound. Uh, so. I need a key. Need, I need a key? What key? Hmm. Let's see. Do we have any key here? Key? No? Key? Oh! There we go. Uh, prototype Program Management Committee. Warberg Spring Loaded Launchpad Project. Comrades of the Government Space Commission, blah. Here are the findings. The Space Commission is convinced that Hans Vorarlberg's research will yield no concrete results capable of serving the military interest of our country or of advancing its space program. It is considered that this project will only bring ridicule to our country and give a very poor image of our national space industry abroad. During the last few years, in a long succession of fruitless attempts, Comrade Vorarlberg has clearly demonstrated the limits to his knowledge of mechanical sciences. Consequently, we have ordered the irrevocable suspension of the program. It has been deemed counter-revolutionary and we now withdraw all collaboration with Comrade Vorarlberg. This decision has been approved by the Supreme Soviet, who adopted with a clear majority the Central Committee Directive of April 15th, relating to the definitive blah blah. Uh, okay. Nice. Key. So Hans was... Uh, Trying to do a spring rocket thing, but it didn't really work out. So, uh, we need to... Uh, 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 uh. 
Yes, and now... There. And now... This. Or... That. <laughs> uh, hey, what's happening? <laughs> You got there. Stop it! Now! You want me to drown? <laughs> yeah, actually. I want this hawk to shut the hell up. Oh, I was almost I was about to say that it worked, but it did not. Calm work. down, it's alright. Just a little wake-up call, that's all. You must have had quite a bit to drink. Gee, you're <laughs> right there. Not the first time either. Probably won't be the last. <laughs> Colonel head. got stuck. Please, could you whisper? Please do excuse me. <laughs> I mean, but I can whisper, but this fucking hole. Back to your senses. A little extreme, maybe. But I get the impression you're a lady who likes to see results. Okay, okay, mission. I came here by train, but unfortunately it broke down. I've got to get to Arrowbad immediately. Someone told me you might have a vehicle to lend me. Someone? <laughs> Who might that someone be? I hope you're not talking about Sergei Borodin. Well, Sergei Borodin? Yes, I am. The director yeah. of the industrial complex below. Be careful, ma'am. He is not a rational man. He can be mean and very dangerous. And this is coming from he a drunk, so... I come and see you, actually. But I get the impression that he doesn't care much for you either. I don't care what he thinks of me. All I say to you is, watch out for him. Thank you. You are actually very sweet. Uh, can we can we please I go? I came here by train, oh. but oh no no don't repeat Some... the same dialogue. I'm well, sorry. Be no. He suggests. I don't care. Okay. So. Does Arrowbad mean anything to you? Shut up, bird. Arrowbad. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Is this a Star Wars reference? <laughs> Top brass of the regime would go there. As well as convalescing soldiers, tired politicians, profiteers and racketers, the whole caboodle. They'd go live it up, all expenses paid. One oh my god, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just two steps away from becoming the nation's hero and no free holiday for me. <laughs> Poor and guy. where exactly is this place? Further east. We never had to know where exactly. Airship was programmed to take vacationers there. From here. Airship, give me airship. Does uh, why are uh, why are you repeating the same thing? Further east. Thank you so much for helping. Where do I find the airship then? Been great talking. He's T posing to assert dominance. Okay, I understand. Where the is this cute bird? Thank you. I think actually this is not the way that I have to come. <laughs> yes, this is where we go. Okay. Oh, so many birds. I think I... But why are there so many birds if there's a hawk here? How is this possible? Oh my god, so many ugly, stinky birds. That door is locked. Why? Why is it locked? Wait a second, I think I'm gonna... What the... Did someone knock? Did I knock? Oh my god! I got so scared, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, BMI, but I got so scared, Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh! I even got creeps. Stop! <laughs> oh 
I got so scared. No. <laughs> oh god. No. Stop scaring me. Oh, this thing's jammed. Why is it jammed? I need the key. Key, 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 key. There we go. Ah, oh, stop scaring me. This way, I'm never oh, gonna. Oh shit. I'm never gonna play horror games. Oh, actually, we are gonna. We need this later. No. I have to bring this to the guy. Can I take it out? No. This thing's jammed. Uh. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow um, preview. I'm gonna call you preview. Yeah, I turned. I got scared of the knock because I thought that. Uh, Abel is trying to say something to me. Um, but that... No. But that wasn't the case. So I was like, did someone knock really loud on our window? <laughs> so... <laughs> that really got me. Hey! Cool! Um... Yeah. I don't think I need anything else from here at the moment. Uh... I need to go back to the guy, unfortunately, which means that we have to listen to the hawk, who's annoying as hell. <laughs> okay. Shut up, hawk! Shut up! My head. Oh, my <laughs> poor head. No. So, bird. Don't you find it strange to see so many birds in the Cosmodrome? It's the Iron Rafters. They love them. Nowadays, they can enjoy a bit of good old peace and quiet here. So, of course, they turn up in flock loads. <laughs> Sometimes I set Soyuz onto them. <laughs> Just like the good old days. Soyuz? Buddy. Soyuz is the last Golden Eagle left in active service. Ah, we so that's what we are hearing. Canaries out of the way before takeoff. So what did we do? Set the eagle on them, and <laughs> you should see them fly. So you see, <laughs> he's like a cat among the pigeons. Magnificent. Okay, airship. Do you think the airship still works? No idea. It's been so long since it was used. And then I've got to learn how to use it too. You won't it's have automatic. Any there, it has an automatic pilot. Go visit if you want. Here's the key. Okay, let's go back. Cool, 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 cool. Bye. Right, I'm up. Don't you worry about. Don't you? Oh wait, that's that's different. Let's forget about me. Yeah, also, uh, it's uh, close enough. Oh, okay, okay, okay. At least we could have some music instead of this annoying bird sound. Was it like a free stock or why why are they using it so much? That door is locked. Use the key. <laughs> yes, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Get away. Doesn't look like that work. Yeah, thank you. No oh, shit. If I did I come here exactly? Doesn't look like that work. I don't want to go without making sure that I cannot check anything else in here. Because the second we go out, the bird starts again. Ah! No! Wait. Uh, this way. Oh. <laughs> I agree with that. Little, little, uh, hog barbecue. Hey, where did the guy go? Hey, 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 hey. Where is he? Where did he go? Oh my god. Oh my god, where is he? I can't take this noise anymore. Oh my god, he's not here. Shit. Uh, I think he must be at the next area then. 
Okay, let's see. Ah, here we go. Hello? Uh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've managed to trigger the autopilot mechanism, but the airship still won't take off. Do you know why? Mm, maybe. I've got a, some idea. <laughs> but you look like you're a pretty good mechanic. Let's just say that since the start of the no, journey, she's a lawyer. I've managed to get by and get to know Hans Varlberg's strange contraptions. Okay. That will look good on your CV. I've been living in this dumb launcher site for years. And I've always said that one of these days I'm going to the stars on that flying wing. And I'd better make that trip before vodka stews my brain. <laughs> Aww. But I gotta know. I like this guy, he's so sweet. And you look like you might have some clue at least. If you could help me get to the stars, I'll tell you how the airship works. What do you say? We got a deal. Hmm. Why not? I'll see what I can do for you. Yup, yup. Uh... Comrade Boris, I need a few drops of your blood. Excuse me? <laughs> to get the centrifuge going, we'll need to analyze the pilot's blood. If you're going to the stars, you've got to be in good health, you see? That's why I need a blood sample. Well, I don't know how that will work with There's all the alcohol. There's two things always ready to do. Drop his pants and spill his blood. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll only be needing your blood. <laughs> My pleasure, man. <laughs> but this is not gonna work because he drank so much, right? Can you go into what are the you capsule? With? Why is it taking so long? Um, just a bit longer. If excuse I'm sorry, me. I just couldn't wait. Put yourself in my shoes. I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. Okay, so. Okay. It's like Emily at the end of Death Stranding. What took you so long? <laughs> Do you know how much shit today I have to go through? Okay, that looks alright. Uh Shouldn't he be in there? Yeah, blood sample refused, alcohol level too high. So I have to give my blood. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, I'm giving my blood to this mission. Looking good. Okay, I think I figured out how it works. Get settled in and let's go. That does look like a nice thing to do after being hammered. Colonel, are you all right? Dad. <laughs> You sure are, buddy. You sure are. Okay, he's a slow walker, but we can see. Miss Walker! Come in, Miss Walker! Are you receiving me? Uh, yes. Clear as smog. Can you speak up? I'm ready. Press the launch button. Roger, roger. Launch! Takeoff procedure engaged. Countdown commencing. Send this ore Colonel, drunk to space. You've forgotten to tell me the secret of the airship. What do I have to do? The airship will need to be right up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably she should have asked earlier. Hey! Boris! You go. Lift off! <laughs> okay, that was easy. Hmm. Oh, where did he throw the thing? I... Oh, shit. Ah, uh, oh, it's here. 
Good. Let's go. Finally, we can leave this place. I think. I don't know. I think we have to do something with the hawk, actually, but I can't remember. Because we won't be able to lift up from all the birds, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just mixing it up with the university part. Get up, birds! This is not your place. Um, wait. I don't Doesn't think look it like that works. I don't think it needs to be cranked here, actually. Shit. Or is it? Oh man. Where do you crank an airship? <laughs> Did that sound something? I don't know. Okay, let's go back. I'm pretty sure it will be hidden in plain sight, just like everything else that I didn't find so far. Mm. Let's see. This is not it. Doesn't look like that works. Mm -mm. I can't really approach it from any other direction. But let's see. Can I go that way? No. Interesting. Um, maybe on the other side there's something. Oh yeah, this is the... Mm. Hello? Wait a second, let's go back here. Maybe there's something that I'm missing here? Actually... Nothing. Excuse me. I don't need to do that again. Um. Okay, so nothing in here. That's a good sign, I guess. Um, so nothing here. I think maybe I need to go back a little. But I mean... Why would anything be here related to the airship? Ha, huh, interesting. So I have the thing in my head, so... Head? Head? So if I could do anything with it? Oh wait, I actually want to check that out. Uh, if you can go back a little. Right there. Oh. oh, there you are, you fucker. Oh my god, I'm gonna... I'm gonna murder. Murder you. Oh my god. Why are you here? Oh. You fucker. 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Can you stop? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are out of here. Out of here. Oh, I knew that we had to do something with the birds, actually. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Stop it. Let's go! Yeah! Bye bird! Bye! Hope. Thank you so much for the raid. How is it going? Hi. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, hey, Bilob. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, guys? How is everything? It's very good. I love this game. It's not my first time playing it, uh, but I thought maybe I would revisit before. Hopefully the new game comes out this year, but probably it's gonna be next year. <laughs> As there is no news about it, unfortunately. Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I want oh. an update. I want it results. It's our boss. Certainly, Mr. Martin. We all do. Down in the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. I love how she Kate, doesn't give a fuck I don't anymore. Think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is class A priority numero uno. I mean, she's working on it. I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You want to stand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. Oh, what an asshole boss. Um, so this game is like a very, very old adventure game. And the uh, premise of it is that uh, there's this woman, Kate Walker, who is sent to Europe to buy um, a kind of a toy factory, but like a factory that produces uh, these automatons. Or, yeah, that's what they call it. And um, it turns out that the owner died and there's an heir. Who she needs to track down, and basically that's what we are doing now. Why is the music so much louder than the dialogue? Thank you so much for the follow, beloved. <laughs> Mission. I want to meet someone who lives here. There's football on the TV. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to um impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please, I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. All this talk if it was that of barbecue important. actually makes All me hungry. All you had to do was ring the hotel. <laughs> her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. But uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have <sighs> called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, 
In this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah. At your service, ma'am. Mm. Okay, so... Good boy, eh? Uh -huh. Ah, okay, I remember now. We are gonna pull a little sneaky on ya. Actually, this path that we are going to see uh, very, very soon, I, I think at least it's based on one of the Hungarian baths here. I'm gonna pull up a picture when we get there, because it's like very, very, very similar. Okay. Little prank, bro. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Um. Ping. Will he see the thing by himself or like? Is it not sus that it was me? I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The time's a changing man, and we've had to introduce a security system. Okay. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. Okay, well, actually, I do think that we need to mess with the TV, but I can't remember how. Hotels. Franski Hotel. Oh, yeah, wait. Number. Is this a phone number? Wait, do we have one in, in Hungary? No? Of course not. Okay, Mother Dan Olivia Locks Hotel. It's not sus at all <laughs> that we are calling it from here. Okay, that didn't work out. I think maybe we need to leave actually. <laughs> oh, I have to. Yeah, I have to uh, pull the curtain. Because that's why he can see it. Okay. So far so good. Maybe I shouldn't come out here actually. Uh cool. Yeah, I will uh I will be able to go behind the counter after he leaves. So calling the hotel does not work. Can I just uh, quickly do this again? Maybe he will notice the thing. <laughs> He's gonna be very, very pissed at me. I would be pissed as well. <laughs> Why is the phone not working though? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Yeah, it does seem like you have too much work. Yeah, I have to say. Sorry, man. Okay. <laughs> Go, bro. Sorry. The sound effects. <laughs> now this guy will be the credits as mopping sounds. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Helena Romanski. Uh, huh? Yeah, she never left, I guess. Okay. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Can I... Ah, oh, cool. Uh, can I mess up the TV? I really want to mess up the TV. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I can't, it seems. Man, I could never... Okay, so... See? This? And let me just quickly... Uh...
Mm, is how do I do this? Uh, oh, yeah, I have only one display, I forgot. So if I put this here, can you see? Wait, where did the game go? Oh, yeah, I changed them. Oh, shit. Okay, I realized I'm a moron. Mm, but let's just quickly do this. Um, see? This is actually a bath in Budapest. The one I'm showing. And like, it's very, very similar. So cool. I've never been, actually. But yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not the same, but like very, very similar. So, <sighs> where are we going? Hello? Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. To you too. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, miss. Hi, James. James, the automaton nurse. I am not a barman. I'm Excuse sorry. me? I didn't want to upset you. <laughs> if you don't mind, miss, I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. <laughs> it's okay. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at five o'clock sharp. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish. But do pay attention to the salt wind. Salt well, wind. I'm going, James. See you later, maybe. Thank you, it James. It would be a pleasure to see you again, Miss. I like you. Um, okay, so we're going to the pier, which is this way. Oh. 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 Should have. Ah, oh, should have I remember the room number she is in? Jesus. Please, James. Help me out. No, actually, I think. We need to go to the. Yeah, I think we need to go to the locker room. Hello. Hello? Okay. Uh, did I call full circle? Yeah. Okay. Oh! So this is not the locker room, but we still had to come here. Okay. Then where is it? Oh god. Mm. Um yeah, I think it's in the other side maybe. I don't think I should have remember her room number. Maybe no. Probably not. I feel a bit dumb now, but let's try. It's still out? Good! Okay. Then maybe it was the room number. So, Helena... Access card... Should I just randomly choose a number? From these? Okay, let's try the... 1503. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was for... Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I was probably blind. <laughs> okay. 
doesn't work. Oh, shit. That doesn't work. Oh my god, what are we doing? <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Good afternoon, miss. Uh, mission. I'm looking for Madame Romance. Oh shit, don't repeat the dialogue, Theater. please. Is it possible to go see her? As you wish, but do pay. Uh, help? Can you take me to Helena Romansky? Not at this hour, miss. Madame will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier. So? Madam knows perfectly well that during this season I don't go down to the pier. My wheel work goes dicky under the double corrosive action of the salt and sand winds. Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. Okay. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. <laughs> no, I'll stay here and make ready for Madame in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable. Such violent swings of mood. Well, I'm going, James. It would be a pleasure to see you again. You too. I like you, James. Uh, I do feel like I am dumb, though. So, here, nothing else. Okay. Um... Nothing here. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh. Mm. Okay. What was that for? Turned on the bubbles at the jacuzzi. <laughs> Can I turn it off? Oh wait, what is it? I wonder how that works. Oh yeah, we are gonna need this later. Okay, so oh shit. Hmm, there must be something at the desk then. There's no changing room, apparently. My mind is playing games with me, which is cool. Mm. Okay, let's see. Once again, Helena. Twelve seven. Oh, yeah. Uh, Twelve seventy. So it was almost smart, it's just bad handwriting, okay? So 1270, okay. Twelve seventy. Yeah, it's twelve. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Twelve seventy. Darn it! What the fuck? That doesn't work. Just as I thought. The fuck do you mean? <laughs> James? Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. <laughs> I'm looking for Madame Roman. I already Is it know possible? It's... As you will. Well, I'm going to. Okay, James. James. It would be a pleasure to I see have you to again. see. You disappoint me. What the. Ah, uh, how. How do I get out there? Is it, is it something to do with the chess guys? Okay, let's talk to the chess people. It's probably not, but. I'm sorry to disturb you. Seriously? Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. 
Mm, unless... <laughs> I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, no, no. Checking two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Okay. Okay, I wouldn't like... Me neither. Find, find the door that was open with this code. Oh! Okay, so... Yes, I knew there was a locker room. I knew. I remembered. 0968. Genius. 0968. I mean, I don't have to remember this because it's on the card. I remember things, just not very well. So, 0968. Okay! There we go. <laughs> yes! That line was something. So many innuendos in this game that I never understood as a kid. <laughs> oh, we need the bell. Okay. Can I go forward? Hello? Thank you. It looks so cool. Kind of deserted though, but still cool. Okay, here we go. Um, excuse me. What's going on with the controls of this board? Uh, they have to wear the mask because of the salt wind. Madame Romansky? Madame Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am. My name's Kate Walker. I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich. Ah, oh, Malkovich. <laughs> son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? <laughs> Not exactly. He's I mean... a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arrowbad. I'm American. A lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Yeah, you Indeed can say. It is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left. Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel must be pinched so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? Your valet, of course. Yep. Oh no! You back here again? How dare you show your damn face round here? Get out of here immediately! Please, I absolutely must find... Miss Romanski! Oh, yes, I'm sorry. She managed to lie her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, um... I hope you upset you too much. Oh, silly. Stop being such a grizzly bear. <laughs> this woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. <laughs> Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Miss Romanski, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. <gasps> if it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Her voice is so cool. Defeating one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have <laughs> I made myself clear? <laughs> don't Mr. touch. Michana? Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romanski. Please do accept my humble apologies. Yeah, shut up. Go, go away. <laughs> you may go now. Yeah, that's what I said as well. Bye, Felix. Okay. Don't touch, don't swear. I'm gonna use so many lines from this game, man. So good. You never know what you are missing out when you play with Hungarian subtitles. I took the bell, but the bell is still there. Okay. <laughs> don't touch, don't swear, I love it. <laughs> I 
I don't need to do that. Come on. <laughs> James? What up, boy? What's going on with you? Why are you not coming? Now I'm coming here, telling him to go out. He said he won't go out because he needs James, to hear the bell. what are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring, but it is very windy outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty oh, wind. Poor James. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that help? Oh, most certainly. Oh, oh, <laughs> my heart. Oh, James, I love you. Katie Poo. So, have you met her yet? Katie Poo. Helena Person. What would she like? Does she remember Frank? I'm up. Yeah, sure. I met her, and yes, yeah, she's living in Arlbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arlbad like? Maybe <laughs> Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're right. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? Not really, Ma. I still Aww. haven't found the air I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romanski's a kind of detour here. Listen, Munchkin. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. Why don't you just come home, tell your boss this air just doesn't exist, that you've done all you can, et voila. <laughs> Do you want me to call him for you? Do you want me to call Ma, him for please, you? please, don't get involved. Looking for Hans Varlberg is what I'm being paid for, but I also just want to find him for myself. Honestly, you're just as stubborn mm -hmm. as your father. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, hey, James. Okay, now, the puzzle. Oh my god, the puzzle. Hey, I wanted to talk to Helena, actually. No point weighing myself down. <laughs> oh my god. Helena? Can I talk to you, please? Excuse me. Thank you. It's a real honor to meet you, Madam Romanski. People have told me so much about you. <laughs> People still talk about me. Oh dear. Aww. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. But surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. True. Uh, mission. I'm wrapped up in a case at the moment. And because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah, oh, I remember that factory. Oh, a sad city indeed. What am I saying? They all were. Madame Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Aww. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. Faded and wan, like my heart. Oh. Aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, you are <laughs> the sweetest cherry, my dear. I am not senile yet. But I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror. And I can tell you, singing is something I did in the past. Sad. It's all right. Uh, actually... You must have had a fantastic life. Okay. So exhilarating. Ah, much more than you could ever imagine. I used to sing the finest melodies of the moment. It I wonder what triggers the next uh, the puzzle. Because I remember I what it was, but I don't know how to get there. By princes. 
grown men would sink to their knees when they heard the first notes of my recital. <laughs> my voice could break crystal glass and hearts, many hearts. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Then one day sickness steals oh, I away think the this gift is gonna be... life has given you. My voice started to betray me. I started to get migraines. My health failed. They sent me here to let this spa town weave its healing spell. Aww. I was only going to rest for Poor a Helena. month, but then the month became a year and the years get longer. But you look so healthy to me. Oh, thank you, my dear. <laughs> okay, so this was not the thing that... Uh... Shit. Madam Romansky, please understand, I would never have come... I understand, my dear, but my health is... Okay. I'll let you get a bit of rest. It was a real pleasure, my <laughs> child. You are a charming young lady, and simply talking to you has warmed my soul. Oh, okay. Can I talk to James, actually? I want to talk to James. James? No? <laughs> Their head. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's super nice. No point weighing myself down. No point way. Okay, so I can't take these yet. Alina, what do you want from me? It's a real honor to meet you. Mm. Of course. Ah. Uh... Oh, let's talk about Hans. Strange. I get the impression that Hans Vorlberg turned up here too. You know Hans Vorlberg? Not exactly. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance Hans gave case, James to but I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail, and I guess he's kind of a close friend now. <laughs> you knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. I knew Hans Wallerberg. Do you hear, James? <laughs> oh, if you had had the chance to meet Hans, my Hans. Oh, my God. What has become of him? Where is he? As questions go, madam, that one is not without certain complications. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission, to find Hans Varlberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as mm -hmm. possible and to get out of Komkalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? No. Nope. The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have Aww. dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again. Oh, I think James I and Oscar would, would get along well. If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. The one that only he knew how to make. Wouldn't I, James? Yeah, this is the next yes, one. Yes, madam. As you have frequently said, without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December. So we have to make this cocktail. And it was terribly cold for her. and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction, but he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented. <laughs> A strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. That's amazing. That's just what we need. Yep. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Ah, oh, my dear child. It is impossible. Ah, oh, so it's not written George down. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. And how do you plan on doing that? You don't even... What? <laughs> okay. I'll let you get a bit of rest. It was a real pleasure, my... Can I take the ingredients finally? Thank you. Okay. So, I'm gonna put the honey into the hot tub. Ah, gosh. Okay, so the...
Oxia puzzle is a hard one, actually. Uh, honey. Oh yeah, we, that's why we needed the vodka. True. Okay. Honey. Good. Just a shot of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The vodka goes into the cocktail, actually. <laughs> a little shot of vodka and well, Helena will be back as new. <laughs> okay, so back into this automaton bar. Hello? Uh, lemon goes there. What is that? Oh. Oh my god. So... Vodka? Honey? Uh, can I check the paper again? So... The fuck? I have to turn it on first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there seven? Two, seven. Amazing. How could I call the barman? What? Paul, George. The barman. Oh. What? Do I need to call the hotel now? Wait, let me quickly check. Hello, Hotel Moritz? Reception here, can I help you? Oh my god! I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. Hello, hotel bar? Hi. I totally I'd forgot like to that to I had George, to do please? this. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. I it's kind a of know, of life and death. actually. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see old George? Now, he knew a lot of cocktails. One hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. <laughs> he did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly... Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? Yeah. The Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boco Poco, Blue Helena, Red Poco, Mambo... Poco. Helena! Yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say. Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You Finally, I know how to properly to say Curacao. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so I kind of knew that already. But thank you so much. It was a pleasant conversation. So... Which one is the vodka? The sixth in base key. Okay, so... Um, let's just uh, put the thing. Lemon. Okay. Uh, honey. Uh, 
Uh, Curacao is actually like a, a blue alcoholic drink. It's actually really good. Mm. So, honey and thing is in. And blue Curacao is the two for fifth in regular key. And vodka is the sixth in base key. So, um, regular fifth. One, two, three, four, five. And base. Next. Okay. Uh, shake. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, it's not it. Oh, my God. <laughs> What the water of oh. hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? It's a... a, a blue Helena. That is impossible. The blue Helena had a color that was like... Um, and an aroma like... Um, you understand? Its texture was not quite so... Um, one thing is for certain. This is no blue Helena. Make an effort, my child. Right, I guess I'll Is try like out the another mix. order count? Does the order count? Okay, anyway. So, let's do it in order. Vodka. What do you think? Which is the base and which is the regular? I could assume this is the regular, but maybe this is the base. Okay. So, the vodka is the sixth of base. And this is the... Fifth, I think. Two. Fifth. Two. Three. Four. Five. Honey. Oh, I left out the eyes. I left out the eyes. Honey and ice cubes, but weren't uh, a lime in there? Okay, let's see. Honey. How could I left out the ice? Such... Such an amateur move. Now that's what it's about. I hope so, at least. My <laughs> What's your problem? It's a uh, uh, that is right. This is why I hate this puzzle. Oh my god. Stupid blue Helena. Yeah, okay, so. <sighs> yeah, instructions. Okay, before. Okay, need to get. Okay, I get the honey. Okay. Oh my god. I 
I was looking it from the wrong way. Oh fuck. <laughs> the keys are okay. Uh, so once again, uh, we need so okay. What what is this? Two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that would have made sense, to be honest, to look it from sideways. <sighs> please drink it, please. Ah, my God. Ah. From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? It's a... Uh, uh... A blue Helena. That is impossible. The blue Helena had a color that was like an, an, an aroma. Okay, like... yeah, actually, the you order this... counts right. as well. I guess I'll... So, here we go. Okay, so, yeah, we turned it on. The level should be set to base. That's okay. Press the second piano key from the left. Which is the what? That's the lever to treble. Press the third piano key from the left. Honey. Lemon. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> it wasn't even that hard. <laughs> yes. Like on a wine tasting. She gets hammered even before getting the proper cocktail. My voice. My God, that oh, was atrocious, horrific. It was too good to be true. George's blue Helena is powerless. <laughs> the magic of alcohol, yeah. On the voice of an old woman. It makes my voice better your voice is as well. Perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit. That's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. <sighs> I would get such bad reviews. No one's going to review it. You just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. How dare you? How can you be so mean to poor James? I love James. She depressed. My voice. She used to be soprano, but now she depressed so. God, what have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice, my voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, <laughs> you're no spring chicken these days. Now she clapped back. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. 
I hope you have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite <laughs> out of the question. Don't be These stupid, two. James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe <laughs> you're right, madam. As ever. I don't do know I what's on that chair, to be honest. you're going to go with me to Comcalsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away. I'll go back to the airship Thank to you. prepare my departure. Uh, you can join me there when you're ready. James, take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick, quick. What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? <laughs> Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. He doesn't have foot. He doesn't. Okay, finally. Oh, God. Also, anyone who is a bit smarter than me, does anyone know which, uh, like, opera is that song from? Because I swear to God that I know it, but I don't know where from. I mean, pro I, I don't know it from seeing the actual opera. But I just think it sounds super familiar. Hey, where is my uh, airship? Uh, where did I land? Where can I go back? Oh my god, this big controls. Thank you. Uh, it, it seems like it's on the other side. Ah! They have their own airship parking lot. How convenient. <laughs> she will sing the full song uh, very, very soon. Hello? If it's Dan, I swear Hi, to God. It's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long. I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question, that's so unlike you. Did I yeah, because you won't ever shut the cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I, I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. I. What? Hey, don't play dumb. After the Goldbergs, <laughs> Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap, and then. Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I, Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Yeah, it's Look, fucking Dan's don't boy. Don't get over it. You and Dan, it's, it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? <laughs> Kate, please! I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. Babish! Yeah. Suck it up. Stupid Dan. Dump his ass. <laughs> Yay. I wish this was... 
I wish this game could get a remaster. <gasps> oh, thank you so much, Cosina, for the sub gift. Thank you so much, <laughs> and free enjoy your gift. I hope you will enjoy the little emotes we have. Oh, thank you, Epicina. <gasps> Singing time. Now we might recognize the piece. It's not creepy at all. Yeah, it's very pretty. Her dress though, very glittery. I approve. Creepers! Poor old lady. She might have a heart attack. How could you do this? Fucking creep. Kate, help me. What is happening? Oh. What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there. And I'm going to find it. Oh, but poor Helena. hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. Can she, though? <laughs> you just brought her here. Okay. E. That door is locked. Okay, also, there is no way we are leaving through the mines, so. Oh, what an asshole! It's not like she couldn't call the police. <laughs> My hands. Okay. Seems this monorail is control. Let's go. Cool. Um. 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 Actually, can I go out in the mines? Because Darn it. oh fuck, Helena! I didn't forget about her. I just thought we need to go out to see Oscar. Oh man! What the hell am I supposed to do here? Uh, sh 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 sh. Wait, do I have anything? Uh, screwdriver. Okay, okay, okay. Can I do this? No. Um. Oh, 
Darn it. What do you mean? Helena. I know she's there, but what am I supposed to do? Oh, there's a... Ah, oh, there's a lock. I can just cut it out. Okay. Yeah. I'm a mo... Dumb schmuck. Um, excuse? Thank you. Oh, at last, young lady. I was I'm sorry, I'm just dumb. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry. Get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Yeah, uh... Oscar's hands is still on the pianist. Helena, my love, I know you are a bit aged, but could you just please hurry the up? Just a little. Okay, there we go. Are you all right, madam? Just go. Has been put to the test here, but it just might hold up. Aww. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> She's too drunk from the drink. <laughs> oh! But, my god! What has happened now? Ha ha! Nice try, Miss Walker! But you are not strong enough. Not for me. <laughs> so you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. And bring Madame Romanski back. Or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, can I beat him up? the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. <laughs> I warned you, Kate Walker. I Walker. warned you. Be careful, my child. Just go. Too. And don't worry. I'll be alright. So, actually... Um... I think I need to do something with the ventilation thingy. If my memory serves... ...properly. Oh my god, I got scared! What the fuck? Use this? That looks like a ventilation duct. It does look like, but like, can you please do something with it? Okay, let's see what happened here. Um. Okay, so no way back anymore. It seems. It's totally cool. Wait, can I not pick up something here? Um, hello? No, it doesn't seem like that. Okay. I'm out. Bye! Wait, do I still have the... No. I thought maybe we can use the wire cutter on the uh, ventilation thingy, but... We don't have it anymore. Oh, yeah. I need to... Kate. Nice. So from both ways, we are screwed. <laughs> okay, good. But luckily, we know that there's a ventilation thingy. <laughs> you thought you can trick me? I don't think so, Mister. I don't think so at all. Now let's get the heck out of here. Oscar? Ask her. Let go. Ah, he's blocking our way. He's closing in on the train. Oh, 
ask her. Where are you? Hello? Kate, hi. It's me, Dan. Shut are the fuck right? up, then. I'm okay now, yeah, thanks. But uh, if I said that not long ago I was grappling with a mad music lover who wanted to kidnap an old forgotten opera star, but I foiled his plan and escaped through an abandoned mine, then I guess it's completely mad. You'd be proud of me, Dan. Kate, what the fuck are you doing? Kate, I don't understand a thing you're saying. I barely recognize Just dump his ass. It doesn't matter. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I went to dinner with the Goldbergs. I finally beat Bob at squash. Uh, the cleaning woman broke the vase in the entrance hall. Well, other than that, nothing new. Nothing new? Everything's cool, though? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, cool. You're not missing me at all? Oh, yeah, sure I am. I had Olivia on the phone. She was a little upset. <laughs> Nothing to say? Busted. So sorry. I, I, I don't know what came over me. I don't think it's the perfect time to talk about this right now, actually. I don't know, Dan. Maybe I'm to blame somewhere on all this. Maybe I pushed you into Olivia's arms. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from Bullshit. the once knew. <laughs> and you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. Yes, What's girl. Us, yes, slay. Maybe we've just realized we don't really love each other, Dan. We can talk about it when you get back. Bye. You I don't know, Dan. We'll see. Just dump his ass. Bye. No one needs you. Okay, where is Oscar? Oh, he's not here anymore. Oscar! Can we leave? Oh, wait, can I call Oscar actually? Uh, Otto, Fox, Olivia, Dan, Mother, Office, no. So I, he only gets a phone at the second game. What on earth is going on? Why is this train not moving? This is not the time to hang around with that madman on the loose. Yes, I agree. That is a bit of a concern. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oscar, if you ask me for my ticket, I swear to God, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Oscar! What is it this time? Large iron rods have emerged from between the huge legs of the giant statue. The track is now completely blocked. Who cares to drive absolutely through them? Crazy. Will that madman never get off our case? I'm gonna see what I can do. Oh. Excuse me? Ah, okay. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. I think I know what I'm going to do. Actually. <laughs> that does sound a little, um, yeah, little innuendos in the game. Why did, yeah, I mean, I kind of get it. Like she doesn't even fucking care about her stupid ass fiance. <laughs> She's better off without him. But he would deserve a little bit of a shout. I would say. If that's going to work. It looks like something. Okay, sorry. Run! Oscar, let's get the hell out of here. Message received. <laughs> Full steam ahead! Yes. Oh, it's so epic. <gasps> we did it. Oh my god, 400 kilometers. <laughs> We are here. Hey, James. 
Hey. We did it. Okay, where is the... Aww. You're not closing me out this time, are you? Thank you. Where is uh, Mrs. Helena? Is she outside? Where is she? I don't need to do that again. Oh, ah, okay, so there's no wind this time. Cool. But I can hear the wind blowing into the mic, so there is definitely wind. Um Mrs. Romanski. She's she's not here. And where is she? Oh shit. Okay, plane. Oh yeah, actually maybe I do need to talk to the receptionist if he doesn't uh, shout at me this time. Hmm. Okay. This takes a lot of time. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Where is James? I want to meet James. Okay. Probably she went to have a nice nap after all this madness. Probably that's what I would do as well. Call my therapist. Um, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Hello! It's me again. I didn't know Russian people love football so much. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? Um, mission? Well, I'm gonna hit the road again. Uh, would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? <laughs> oh, well, actually... I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. I think I need to wind my train up, don't I? It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory at the guys all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make sad. you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time, I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Uh -huh, cute. I'm leaving now, Mr. Felix. See you again, Miss Walker. Bye, Mr. Felix. I think I need to talk to Oscar, actually. My boy, Oscar. Why can't I go oh, that way? Okay, okay, okay. This is actually like the last 10 seconds of the game. 10 seconds? 10 minutes? Oh, hi Oscar! It's good to see you out on the train. Did you wind up the train? You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. <laughs> you should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. <laughs> style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. True. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. <laughs> get a life, Oscar. <laughs> uh, mission? Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. <laughs> of course. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. Oh, he scolded right, me. I'll be waiting. Come on, Kate Walker. <laughs> Love Doesn't him. look like that works. Ah, oh, shit. First, I have to... I keep forgetting the order. Okay. Okay. 
Kate Walker, how can you not know that the train needs winding up? Okay, I did it. Are you proud of me? Hello, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Can we go? Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. Uh, give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, she's not. No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy. But there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe <laughs> she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on. You <laughs> and there it was, on the counter in reception. Come and get it. Okay. okay. I'm going. Oh, this place is so pretty. Just a bass bomb, yeah, into the fountain. Hello, package. That game is going on forever now. He's just watching the replay, probably. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? Give me the package. I've come to pick up my parcel. It's waiting for you there on the counter, miss. Oh, oh shit. Thank you. I'm leaving now, Mr. Felix. See you again, Miss Wolf. Bye. I didn't realize that was my thing. Why did he open my package? Hello? That's rude. What the hell are you up to, Kate? Oh, Mr. Fuck Morrison, off. please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. <laughs> well, drop the mumbo jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want. I've got to go, Mr. Morrison. I think I'm onto something. <laughs> Bye. I wish I would be on a creative streak. Okay, phone. Um, excuse. Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. <laughs> uh, Miss Walker, Madame Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm, I'm on my way. Thank you, Felix. Um. Okay. <laughs> she wants another drink. Well, I hope James learned how to make that. I'm not... Madame Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Comcosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down oh. all day getting more and more bored. <laughs> so much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Oh, Helena. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps up, you Madame Romansky. Now. You've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. 
He too was ill. Ah, oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. Aww. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. Hey, Slucky the plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Oh, I love Helena. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune Goodbye, follow James. your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. I love James. He's so sweet. <sighs> Helena is also very sweet. Why is no one picking up the chair? Oh, hey. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? Hey, you Hans. The train, then. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate. Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. Yeah, poor James. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Vorlberg. Poor Hans. My name's Kate Walker. I. Kate? Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Vorlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilen. It's uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. Oh. That's over now. Isn't it? Uh. Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's oh, the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister you already agreed read. to the terms. All we need now is your signature. Girl, you learned nothing? The dude cannot read. At least, what? not really well. You've signed just like that? Without reading it? He doesn't like to read, Kate. I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it's it. It's not like he cares. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. <sighs> yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. Oh, no. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky dory. Are you saying that. Yep. That Varlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. Sad. But. Capitalism. That's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. Oh, I knew fuck I off. Count on you, Kate. Oh, my I God. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right. Now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A no. Opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. 
You're too kind. Ugh. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. Just fax it. <laughs> Who cares? Sure. Real dumb. Oh. I love the, the spice in her voice. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. <laughs> but thanks for offering. This adventure is all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Is it bad? Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... It's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. Ooh. They're waiting for me there, you understand? You have no I one. understand. The plane. It's going to New York too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. Oh my god, the stupid switches keep, keep pulling up. Oh, my Kate! Run, Kate! <laughs> I love it. <gasps> oh. Oh. What a journey. Man, I love this game. Ah, oh, makes me so emotional. Uh, there is a second part, actually. And uh, I thought if you guys would like to, we can play that next week. I think uh, the second part is around the same length as the first, so maybe two or three streams. Yes, very good choice by Kate. Yeah, oh man, I love this game so much. When I first saw this ending scene, like I got literal chills, it was so good. I love it. She left behind her crappy job as her boyfriend big friend and decided to find happiness in adventure and journey love it love to see love to see okay thank you so much guys for tuning into this stream i hope you enjoy this game i love it i love it so much and actually there's a third part as well and um there will be a fourth part hopefully at the end of this year or Maybe next year. Who knows at micro it's you, you never know. But yeah, thank you so much guys. It was super fun playing this game with you. And I'm actually like very happy that you like it. I was very conscious about this because it's it's a very odd game. And also it's not really everyone's cup of tea. But yeah, thank you. I'm so glad that you guys like it. So I will see you tomorrow in another video. Uh, hopefully on Sunday in another video on the second channel and yeah see you next week same time same place and we will play the second part thank you so much guys and thank you so much for every cheer and the sub gift thank you Eva, Sina, and thank you so much for everyone for the subs 
I love you guys. Stay awesome and take care. Bye guys.